Well, looky there, it's time for a tarp update. So, I put this particular tarp on the car in December of 2021. So that was about a year and a half ago. Uh, see, a little over a year and a half ago, but see, here's the thing. I've been waiting for it to rip. It developed a little tiny hole in here probably a month and a half ago. But the weather's been kind of calm. We finally had kind of a windy day. And it went from like this all the way to that in one windy day. Uh, it kind of stopped beating up. You see that it's a little bit unusual looking out in here. It kind of stopped beating the water. Uh, I would guess probably late spring, maybe June. I came out here on one kind of rainy day and I was like, you know what? The water's not really beating up and rolling off anymore. Little crinkly spots like this. You know, this is going to be letting water get through. Obviously the north side up here is rather pristine. You could certainly get better life out of it if I rotated it. But that's inconvenient. All the grommets and whatnot held in place. These guys here, nothing pulled loose or anything. Super good solid tarp. The cheap tarps that I had been using, I wouldn't even get a year out of them. I think they were probably good for no more than about eight months. I don't think any of those would even make it through a summer, but this one made it all the way through last summer. So I gotta go get another one of these and pop it on. They're a little bit pricey, but still. I'll take that. All right, one of the things that I do to make them last a little tiny bit longer is I've got a little bead of vinyl tubing that I stick along here. And uh, I know from my prior experiences with the thinner tarps that this little lip right here on the car, it'll rip into that tarp no time at all. And you'll lose your tarp before it's actually worn out. Well, it's been a few weeks to a month. And... The rip has gotten worse, but it's been so dry, I haven't really been motivated to get the thing off of there and the new one on. Yay, then the 74 makes an appearance. Uh, this is going to be a heck of a project when it gets time to get it done. There's a lot of stuff that needs to be done. Standard mice in the quarter panel. Done that. Hole over there, door panels are shot. Pretty sure those were original. They're botched now. Of course, the guy who installed the, the pans did a whole bunch of really bad things that he shouldn't have done. Like, for instance, yeah, do you see these bolts, the screws that are right here? He stole screws. Apparently, he told me these things are kind of hard to find. That one's gone. It used to be there. That one's in. And on that side over there, there's a bolt. It's just a plain old hardware store bolt. There's a hole in the back corner right there. Pretty sure a mouse chewed its way through that. And, of course, the guy stole the bows from the top. And that was unexpected. I figured he'd do something bad, but I didn't figure he'd steal my sunroof bows. But yeah, they're gone. Anyway, yeah, it's going to be a body off the pan should I ever get there. Anyway, I need to get the cover on. When you spread it out like this, it looks like it's way too big to cover the car. But nope. There's the old one sitting next to it. That is the correct tarp. Oh, I usually put a pleat in the back. And they put the grommets in a slightly different place on this one, so I've got a slightly different pleat in the back. But I usually don't pleat the front. But I decided, since they changed the positions of the grommets, as you can see right down there, 
that I would pleat the front as well. And yeah, it looks a little bit goofy, but it's gonna work fine. Got it tied up in the front, got it tied in the back, and I just finished the two uh, ropes underneath. All I gotta do is tuck, tuck in over the tires. All right, I had to loosen this up a little tiny bit. Get the front tucked in. Keep that all tucked in. And there's a grommet right here at the back of the tire. So rather than tucking under the tire this year, I thought, okay, if I can use that grommet and a rope, I can kind of like pin the tarp kind of under the tire. And maybe keep a little bit of debris from getting under there. Doesn't fit too bad. A little bit shaggy in that area, but hey, whatever. That'll work. This will bend down at some point. And right there's where it always breaks. But I got my little piece of rubber hose under there to help out. Yeah, there we go.